Hey guys, Michigan here. I found a ridiculous amount of stuff this week. So much stuff I might have to break this into two parts. But let's get started immediately because honestly, I don't think I've ever spent this much on games in a week in my life. I think this is the record, but this is going to be a great video. I'm sure you guys will be uh, pretty happy for me. I found some really, really good stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so these are just strictly the game store finds that I got. Like I said, I've picked up a ton of stuff, but I'm going to break it down into categories. At least that's the plan right now. So for $25, I picked up a Game Boy Advance SP. Didn't have the charger. But if you guys know Game Boy Advance SPs, the AGS 101s are the more valuable ones. And I paid $25 plus tax. But trust me, that's a pretty good deal for this. For a graphite one like this, for $25, you'll probably get something like $45, $50 on eBay shipped. After fees and everything, I should at least make $10 to $15 on it. I figured why not spend the $25 to $30 um, and make $15 off of it. If you have an opportunity to make money and it's something like this, it's not going to take up much space or anything like that, and it's easy to ship, you, you might as well pick it up. At the next store, I picked up two games. Fire Park 2000 for the Super Nintendo. I'm going to give this a try. I've been he hearing a lot of really good things about it. And even if I don't like it, I'll end up making 10 bucks on it because I got it for $1.95. And this is a game that's increased in value a lot since Mike Mattel listed this as one of his uh, most underrated Super Nintendo games. And then I was extremely happy to find this. I've been looking for this for a couple of years now. Even though the case is cracked a bit, not completely, but I'll have to replace it for $7.95. I got Terminator for the Sega CD. This definitely was in the top few Sega CD games I, I really, really wanted. And I'm a huge fan of Terminator, the Terminator series. So this is a game I anticipate the next time I put in my Sega CD or my CDX. I'll be playing this for sure. I love Terminator. I can't stress that enough. So probably one of my, my best finds of the week as far as games I really wanted. Next up, I spent a boatload of money at Disc Traders in Lansing, also known as Disc Replay in some other areas. But the way it works is you buy five, you get the sixth one free uh, of equal or lesser value. So I tried to work it out so that it would work out pretty well to my advantage. Um, I picked up Treasure Land Adventure McDonald's Complete in Box uh, for the Sega Genesis. There's a pretty bad glare reflecting on this cover, so I don't know if you guys can really see it, but yeah, for $6.99, it's a really good deal. It's complete in boxes. is normally $15. Really hard to find title for Sega Genesis. A box copy of The Punisher. Uh, I picked this up for $36.99. This normally is probably worth between $50 and $60. I've played this game, and I think it's overrated, and I think I'm probably going to sell it and make a few bucks off of it. Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Xbox, or Conker's Live and Reloaded, which is the remake of Bad Fur Day. Uh, this game, for $15, complete in near mint condition, is an absolute steal. This is like a $35 game. So, I was extremely happy to find this. Toe Jam and Earl was $4, complete for Xbox. I want to pick up all these Sega games for Xbox, because they're supposed to be really good. I remember playing the demo for this, it was pretty solid. So, I'm happy to find this. Almost completing my Resident Evil collection, I picked up 3 and 2, complete for $16.99 a piece for GameCube. I now own all of them but Code Veronica for the GameCube, complete, black label. So basically all these prices on these games knock off like $2 because the way it worked was I bought the first five most expensive one and I got the sixth most expensive one which is actually cars for the Wii that my girlfriend bought for her cousin's kid. So she gave me $12 for that. So that basically knocked off $2 off of each game. So instead of like $16.99, think of this as like $14.99. So really, all these things are way below eBay pricing. And then the best thing I picked up from the store, and I thought it was marked fairly, but I knew uh, I had some connections to people who would definitely be interested in this. I picked up Bonk's Adventure for the NES. Now, this cart isn't in perfect condition. There's definitely some rips. And as you can see right there, 
But that's why it was marked at 125 The last two have sold for like 200 and $250 on eBay. But I paid 125 plus tax, you know, plus the gas to get there and everything. I paid 130 some dollars, basically. It was a pretty good deal, but I knew I could help a friend out and make a few bucks on it. So I, that was definitely worth put picking up. The last group of game store finds that I got was, uh, this was at a completely separate um, game store on a different day. But I walked in, I found the standard... Star Wars Battlefront 2, which retails for like 40 some dollars, so I always pick this up. This game is, I don't understand why it's worth so much, but I always find it for cheap and sell it for a lot. So the eleven ninety eight, so I picked that up. Like I said, I could sell it for like 40 Star Fox Assault, black label, manual's not in the best condition. I'll have to swap the case too because there's a lot of stickers on it. But complete for ten forty eight, black label is an awesome deal. And then since it's buy two, get one free... I just picked up Knights of the Old Republic Black Label for $7.99 and I figured I could resell it online for 10 or 12 bucks. So basically these two would end up costing me 10 bucks total, 5 bucks a piece, which is an awesome deal. Okay guys, next up on that Facebook group I picked up a couple of things. Well, a little more than a couple, but a couple of transactions I had. The first was, I had a guy talk to me who I'd met up before I got that Spyro the Dragon uh, last week off of for whatever it was, a few bucks. He asked me if I was interested in Dreamcast stuff, and I said yes. He sent me a message, and he told me he didn't have any games, but he just had the system and two controllers. Originally, I wasn't really interested in it because it didn't have any of the cords or games or anything. But when they saw the guy list it for $5, I said, oh shit, I'll take it for 5 I can always use a replacement Dreamcast because they do break. I need to test this, though. I'm assuming it works, but who knows. But I was just happy to get two controllers for five bucks, let alone the system thrown in. Uh, I only have three Dreamcast controllers, so hooray. I know these things aren't worth a ton, but it was definitely worth it for five bucks. I, I have never found Dreamcast stuff on Craigslist or anything like that. So this is the first time I've ever bought Dreamcast stuff offline, outside of when I bought my Dreamcast originally. The next lot was a huge one. I came up with a smart idea that in my Facebook group I was going to post a picture of my collection and sort of acknowledge myself as a collector, not a reseller. Now obviously you guys know I sell stuff, but I only sell stuff that I already have or if it's something that's really not worth it to me to have for the monetary value that it's worth. So I think I gained a lot of credit with people. There's other resellers on the Facebook group, but I think people definitely lean towards wanting to sell to me. Well, anyways, this girl I talked to really did want to sell to me because she knew I was a collector. And so I picked up an NES lot and a Super Nintendo lot. They both came with a system, as I'll show you. But I'm not going to show you the Nintendo. Once again, uh, Minister Michigan worked his, his magic and he broke another NES console. I suck at fixing things. I can't stress that enough. But anyways, this is what I picked up exactly. For the NES, Kirby's Adventure, Super Mario Bros. 3, Mega Man 3, Off-Road, Super Mario Bros. 2, of course, I just paid 15 bucks for this last week, Mega Man 6, what were the chances I was going to find another in an NES bundle? Paperboy, I love this game. Actually, this will be one that definitely goes in my collection. I don't know what I was thinking. I love this game. I'll definitely... One of the few NES games I actually want. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Bases Loaded 2, second season. Major League Baseball. Legacy of the Wizard. Millipede. Tetris. Ice Hockey. Another Ice Hockey. The original Ninja Turtles. Championship Bowling. Marble Madness, Skate or Die, a few uh, a few more games that are actually decent, Galaga, 1943, and finally Excite Bike. Sorry, I forgot to mention I paid 110 for everything for the Nintendo, for the Super Nintendo, and the games for each. And now for the Super Nintendo goodness. Overall, the Super Nintendo games were at much higher quality on average than the Nintendo ones, but I think that's normally how it is, and that's why Super Nintendo is so popular. There's so many good games. It's funny about the NES, so many games are worth like a dollar or less, but the Super Nintendo, you're almost guaranteed to have a $5 game unless you know it's one of those worthless sports titles or a Zoop or something. 
So let's start with some of the crappier games. Nigel Mansell's World Championship. Zoop. Bill Beers Combat Basketball. Super Black Bass. And now the rest of these are all pretty good. Mortal Kombat 2. Kirby's Avalanche. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Yoshi's Island. Tetris 2. Mortal Kombat 3. Killer Instinct. Street Fighter 2, which I'm selling in a Super Nintendo bundle today with the console for $45 locally. Illusion of Gaia. Super Mario Kart. And finally, NBA Jam. Super Mario World. You can never have too many of these to bundle with systems. Kirby's Dream Course. And Star Fox. So yeah, and don't forget that I also got a Super Nintendo with it. So overall, I got a lot of stuff this week. And I spent a lot of money, but it was definitely worth it. That Super Nintendo Nintendo bundle will net me some really nice money to put towards my collection. And one disclaimer. I am withholding some games from you guys. I picked up probably the number one or number two best find of all time for me in my two or three years of collecting. I have like over 20 box Super Nintendo games. You have loose N64, NES, uh, systems for each, and I didn't pay much for it. So stay tuned for my next episode when you guys really see the hall of all halls for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys.